But it's good, back up singers. It is your boy Joey Sings, and guess what, y'all? We are diving back into Lizzie's ex life, you guys. Yes, we got episodes. Um, whatever episodes was next pulled up because I forgot where I was at already. Last thing I seen was pandas, babies, and I was just distracted by the panda ness. Okay, love me some pandas, y'all. So listen, we gonna get into the next two episodes because why not? Okay, listen, y'all. I think she is building or redecorating her home, and it's something about a secret basement, honey. So I know I'm ready for that, okay? So listen, if you are not a backup singer, go ahead and become one, y'all. Smash that subscribe button right now as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. It is that simple, honey. Yes, I am a little tired. But that's all right. Let's get into this video. <laughs> you guys so yeah she is doing a home makeover baby and i'm ready to get into it i'm pressing play this place looks so cute and it's outside of my reach how did you get to it why did you get to it hey guys what's up ld charlotte here and welcome back to x life today i'm going to be giving my house a makeover eee. transforming it from this tiny cramped mess into something that i can decorate now before Ooh. I can move out, I have to empty all of these chests. A task I am not looking forward to oh, because I've lived an unorganized life so far. So I've put a bunch of chests out here and I will spend the next hour organizing my stuff. <laughs> One, two, oh my goodness! Three. Finally all my stuff is out here on the lawn, organized and nice and neatly into these Yay. chests. And now my house is looking a lot emptier on the inside with Very the empty, the honey. furniture. Crossing when the villagers are ready to move out. But it's me, I'm the one ready to move out. <laughs> Goodbye, tiny home. Oh no, we even have to get rid of these signs. Oh. Babies, no deaths. And my block of diamond from Joel for being the best lawyer ever. So now that we've empty it all out, all we have to do is destroy this structure. So take a good look because this is the last time you're ever gonna see this house. Oh it no. Well for six episodes, but now it's time to move on. And just like that, it's gone. So now I'm going to build a bigger and Ooh. better house, but it's going to be in a similar style to my starter home. So think of this like a Pokemon, which is evolving from its cute small form into something much more powerful. Yes! I like that analogy. Oh, this is cute. So here is my new house. Oh, I As love see, it. There's a lot more space inside now, and I have Ooh. Which is very pink. And currently, there's nothing in here at all. So, so in this cute. episode, I'm going to be decorating. I love this. I love pink. I love her bills. I love Lizzie. She can do no wrong. Okay, I am Team Lizzie. I don't care what it is. In my house, trying to make it look all cute. And oh, I almost forgot to mention, I do have a basement down here. And this is where I'm going to keep all of my ugly chests because that Ooh. is not an effective system. Oh my goodness, I just realized I can see all of Joel's amazing builds from here. Look at that. <gasps> they all have cute little chimneys. I want a cute chimney. <laughs> um, now I have a campfire and I have to be really careful with this, but I don't set myself on fire. Please don't I'm set yourself on fire, yes. friend. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. I have my own Ooh. roaring fire. And hopefully that roaring fire stays contained to the chimney. I should probably check that my house isn't burning down on the inside. Oh, oh no! I can't believe I just did that. I nearly died doing the chimney. I, it, oh works? no! Well, I have a cute chimney now, though. That was worth almost dying for. Okay, now let's do something a little bit safer that is hopefully impossible to die from. I'm just gonna move my chests into an underground basement area. Two hours later. What do you think of Ooh. my ugly basement? Looks on the basement is definitely ugly, but is organization is key. And I ran out of patience to make this place look good. It's just a basement anyway. You're meant to be ashamed of your basement. And now all we need to do <laughs> is decorate this place. So I'm going to start I with love the her. bedroom. So I want to put my enchanting area up here. And I think Ooh. it would be really cool to hide it behind a secret bookshelf door. So let's grab my old bookshelves. Oh, I like that idea. Table. And then I'm going to make this into a huge wall 
with a door in the middle and now we just need to disguise the door and I have the perfect idea for how to do this some of these online picture frames hopefully we can walk through it yes and all we need to do is texture it like oh I love shelves. it <gasps> okay so it looks a little bit different but that oh that is so, so well. cute <laughs> I have a secret bookshelf room this is my ultimate dream okay, I so love it messy some more bookshelves to fill this place out which means we need to take a little trip to moo moo meadows for some leather <laughs> wait why is this cow called cow jeremy <laughs> well, i'm not gonna kill you cow jeremy wait, because... this one's called jeremy how many of these cows are called jeremy at least we got enough leather now oh Where lord who is jeremy now is this gonna be enough to get all 40 enchanting levels yes now we can Ooh. decorate this place a little bit let's improve the atmosphere in here with some beautiful candles maybe we can i see love it, it. Ooh, a book that's cute actually i have an even better that idea. is so I cute that adds in some standing books and stacks of books and i think these would be perfect for in here for yes the library. so i'm going to show you the yes. thing we're working on we first need to make an ancient book like so then we'll make a stack so now we have a cute stack of books that is so cute course, but aren't they cute and now that i've crafted them once I can also make a furnishing station. Now, everything I've crafted before is available to purchase from this here furnishing station for the low, low price of a few red, yellow, and blue dye. That is awesome! Yes, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, yes. My secret library. I love this. I love how spooky and dark it looks in here, but on the outside, these bookshelves don't really match the rest of my pink room. They really so don't. Pink. We should try and get some of these wisteria bookshelves, Ooh. which are adorable. I just need to find a wisteria tree somewhere out in the wild. So, let's Where do you a find a wisteria tree? Far away, and let's keep heading north. And hopefully, I can find a wisteria. Oh! He scared me. <laughs> I can find a wisteria tree before I die. Ah! Oh my gosh, a cat. Why is everything scaring me in this world? Oh my goodness. Oh. There's a huge ravine. And on the other side, I don't even know what that is. But it's following me. Let's just avoid that. So the reason I need to go... Really what in the animal was that? The wilderness ...is because these wisteria trees are from a brand new mod that we added. <sighs> oh, crocodile. So Why are there crocodiles? ...fresh area that hasn't <laughs> been explored yet. Whoa. What? Excuse me? Do is my that eyes a... deceive me? Or did I just see... A deer? <gasps> Travel by sea, because that feels like it might be safer. But I guess we shall see. I hope. So let's just keep going. Ain't no shots or nothing gonna pop up. <gasps> oh, look at that seahorse! Oh my gosh, there are little seahorses everywhere. Oh. I wonder if I can catch one in a bucket. Is this dangerous? Are there any sharks? No sharks. <gasps> I want this pink one. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. In my bucket. I'm get back in the boat. Well, oh my god, you get back in the boat. Okay, let's yes, go fish tank. Because mountains are dangerous. Okay, let's get back on land. I think we must be somewhere new now because I've never seen a sunflower like this before. <gasps> and they have butterflies over here. Oh my gosh, I love this place. Now we just need to find. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I almost fell in there. Oh, that would have been horrible. Need to find the mysterious wisteria tree. Ooh, could that be? Wait, the border? No! Oh my gosh. No! This place looks so cute and it's outside of my reach. Why do we get stuck on this side of the border when all that is over there? One day, I'm gonna get in there. The next day. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, we got it unlocked. Oh my goodness, this is just the most magical place. It's the so pretty. Paradise Garden. Oh, also, these are actually the trees I was looking for. See, wisteria log. Ooh. Okay, let's get one of each of the saplings. So we've got a pink one. Let's get a blue one as well. A white one. And a purple one. I love and now these. We can go home. And I can make my own. 
I love those. Now grow, my beauties, so that we can have a plentiful supply of wisteria wood. Now let's see if these so Wisteria cute. bookshelves look more fitting in my bedroom. Oh my gosh. I love them. These are definitely perfect. We just need to I change love it. the door now to match. Boom. <gasps> oh, Nobody that is so would cute. Ever suspect that I have a spooky vibed secret light room. Nobody would here. expect now that. Decorate the rest of my bedroom. So let's put a little headboard on my bed because I really like the way this looks. I think it looks a little bit more realistic Ooh. than the bed. And then, of course, we need some fairy lights in here. So, let's make some flowery hanging lights. And we'll string these up like that. Ooh. That is very much adequate. Now we need some extra decorations. I so, love up here, it. I'm going to keep the theme of pink and white. So, if I put some shelves down here. And let's try and get everything pink. <gasps> We can make a pink dandelion for my flower mod. Ooh. We can make a pink TV. Yes, that fits right yes. there. Yes. And these pink items. I here. love it. They'll have cool things to put in here. But for now, I'm just going to put this diamond horse armor in. It's kind of like a weird abstract painting. It is. It's, it's kind of, it fits I though. I also want to add these Polaroid pictures. I think they look really cute. And here is a pink dandelion from Ooh. my mod. I love it. The final thing I want to try is a cute rug in here. Now, there aren't many carpet options except for flying carpets, but one does not usually decorate with those. And there are <laughs> carpets, which feels kind of inappropriate for a bedroom. So I want to try and use online picture frames to make a rug. So Ooh. let's see if this works. <gasps> oh my gosh. So I've made a pattern for a rug and now I'm going to try and test it out. So this is the top corner. <gasps> This could be really cute. This is so freaking perfect. Now I have the most adorable thing. I love it that. Looks like Captain America's shield if he took a turn to the kawaii side. <laughs> I love it. I now love I think it. we are finished up here for now. Let's move on to the downstairs. The first thing I'm going to do is go and visit some other people's houses for some decorating inspiration. So let's see what Scott has got going Ooh, on. We love His Scott. House. <gasps> Cute rug so cute. and lots of cyan. I should have expected this. Oh, he's got fan art. Of that is so cute. Okay, let's also go and see Catherine's house because apparently she's also very good at decorating. So let's see what she's got happening in her little star house. <gasps> Adorable plan. Oh, oh, that is gosh. so cute. Would you look at that. What is that? How did she do that? It looks like a real oven. This is very cute too. That is so cute. Has. Um, wow. Ooh. This is a little bit freaky for me. He's got a weird villager trapped in the corner. That's that is so cool. Thank you. So now that I'm feeling all inspired, that is, oh, that I think we cool. should make a little kitchen area here. I'm going to go for a yellow and cyan theme. Bold, Ooh. I know. But I have been inspired by this texture from my crafting tables mod. So let's make some I love that. Because y'all know yellow is one of my favorite cyan. colors. Oh, cute. And now, to make it look more like kitchen cabinets, I have some online picture frames with some graphics of drawers on them. And then up here, we've got some cupboards, like so. Oh my goodness! Now, down here on the ground, so I really cute. want to use some of this plaid because that is gorgeous. Oh, I need wool. Ooh. <laughs> I have a field full of cows. So I'm going to have to take my diamonds and go and buy some wool from Scott's shop. I can't believe I'm so far into this series and I don't have basic things such as wool. Oh my gosh, look at these trees. So cute. Okay, I hope he has the colors that I want. We need light blue and white. Thank goodness he's got plenty of light blue and still some white left. Now, let's Yes, but I'm making money. Wait, hang on a second. Is this man selling teeth? Well, that's horrifying. No, thank you. So, what? two diamonds down, but now Why are we selling teeth? Whoa. Oh, I forgot about my basement. Ah, oh, I thought that was a cave. Okay, I love <gasps> this. That, that is, so is so cute. cute. It would actually be really cute if we could make a gold furnace instead of this basic furnace. Because look at this. It's fabulous. I need it. But it's going to cost me a lot of iron a lot and a of... lot of gold. Oh. I'm willing. So let's upgrade to an iron furnace. And then a 
gold furnace. Oh. And now we have a fabulous furnace. I was also thinking we need some lights, and it would be cute to have some fairy lights up here. So I'll make four of these yellow fairy lights, and then I'm just gonna plop them on here like this, and that is. Uh, yes, it's perfect. Oh, I want this the kitchen. We need plants. Plants are the givers of life. Plants are the givers of good vibes. So let's make this huge house plant just like Catherine had from a flower pot and some really jungle so leaves. Why is it I guess we go into the jungle, we friend. Into the panda research center. Look at the panda. Pandas really are thriving. Hey, how y'all doing? Don't how y'all doing? Bye. Okay, now I have my dream house plant. All I have to do is keep it alive. Don't die on me. It's oh, so yes. cute. But I think we need something a little bit more glamorous. What about a gold, <gasps> golden apple? Whoa! I did not know you could craft these. <gasps> How about gold play button? Let's proudly display this achievement. <gasps> okay, that I is the crafting area. Next, I'm gonna make my fish tank for my seahorse. Yes, Ooh. I still have the seahorse. It's been in a bucket this whole time in a chest. I should probably check. But it's doing okay. There he is. Okay, so let's build the yeah, seahorse for a fish tank. shingles because they kind of look like fish scales. And I believe my gold furnace smelts faster than normal. <gasps> oh, wow. Please, dude, calm down. That thing is go. going. I cannot believe how fast it is. This is crazy. So let's make the fish tank over here. Now let's fill this up with water. Okay, let's put him in there. Wait, we need a name tag. Let's call him Fernando. Let's give That's him a in. cute name. <gasps> there he is. Beautiful Fernando. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Ooh, this is definitely not big enough for a seahorse to live in. But yeah. this is Minecraft, so it's fine. Now name it needs Fernando to fish or something that I got some pandas to name from the comments of the last video. So I'm just going to take the rest of my name tags and go on a naming spree. So let's give this cute one a cute name. I'm going to find the sick one and name it Bam Chu. Here he is. Aww. This little brown one I'm going to call Brownie. <gasps> and let's name this one. Let's make a baby for the next one. So let's call this one Dumpling before it rolls into the pond. And finally, <laughs> I'm gonna name this one Pandora. So thank you guys for the suggestions by pandas. As you can see, it's complete pandemonium over here. Now back to the decorating. There is one item this place is missing. A glorious froggy chair. Yes, for some reason, I decided Ooh. to add a froggy chair to my mod. So I'm gonna put this over here like it's some kind of throne where I can sit and watch Fernando all day. Now over here to Aww. watch the froggy chair, I think it would be really cute to do a flower wall. So I'm gonna get some vines. Ooh. And let's see what this looks like. And I'm also going to make some glass item frames to hold some flowers onto the walls. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is so cute. I'm going to put some mud here to plant this. No! Why are you going to look that way? Oh. Stupid sunflower longing for the outside. Ugh. Okay, how about this pale rose bush? <gasps> Ooh. I love it. I love it. I went a little bit wild with the flower wall, but now I have this beautiful throne. Upon I love house. that. And the other half of my house is very empty. Very so over here, I just added some shelves for now because this is where I'm gonna keep all my collections of things in the future. And maybe we can put some fan art up on the walls as well. Ooh. So there's definitely still room to make some improvements around here. But that is it for this episode of X Life. I hope you guys like my new house. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or decorating, and I will see you next time. Oh my goodness. I feel like we need some um foliage. We need some seaweed, some grass in this fish tank with Fernando, friend. Okay. <laughs> Too late for you to take my advice. But I'm just saying, y'all, I'm excited to get into the next episode. So let's get into it. Alrighty, you guys, so I got the next one pulled up. And let's get into the secret basement. Here we go. This is not what I had planned for my day. What in the darkness? Last episode, I upgraded my house, yes. did some decorating, mm -hmm. we now have a beautiful pastel That kitchen is so cute. An entire wilderness wall dedicated to the froggy throne, a glorious fish tank for Fernando the seahorse, I a love simple it. bedroom with a secret library, a big empty area, and an embarrassing <laughs> hotel. 
<laughs> we should take care of those embarrassing parts of my house. Let's Starting go. Starting with this blank space up here. So here now we can start adding some fan art. So here is one from <gasps> Punkables. This one is from Cloudy Myth. And finally, some glorious stitch art. Those are so cute. have no stitch in this house whatsoever. Now let's get some fairy lights. Let's also put in a nice sofa. Ooh. And really cute to add a rug that is inspired by the colors of a wandering trader so let's see what this looks like <gasps> fabulous i now, love that spawns, maybe i can invite him inside for some tea and he'll actually give me a good deal for once right now let's move on to the basement so makeover time one eternity later ta-da i hope you guys Ooh. like these spooky old fashioned vibes in here from the granny wallpaper to the cobwebs and the oil i lanterns. love this this makes it very different from the upstairs of my house which is very bright and colorful but that's because this place has a secret i'm gonna add in a secret doorway so in this gap Ooh. here i'm gonna put some stairs there now we have a somewhat disguised secret area let's just disguise that a little bit more i and love this and now start working on my secret basement where I keep all my inventions and things that make me super powerful. So here I want to have Ooh. a room full of tiny mob farms. Now these are a really handy invention that will allow me to capture the mob inside the farm and then I can just collect the loot with no Ah, that's so then smart. Let's switch up the color scheme in here to yellow. 12 seconds later. Then, now since the Ooh. walls are all yellow, I think it'd be really cute to go for a pumpkin theme in here. So, I saw these mini jack-o'-lanterns. So that's what I'm going to use to light this place up. So, let's carve up a pumpkin and turn that into a jack-o'-lantern and combine it with these vines to make sad jack-o'-lanterns. <gasps> Can you hang them from the ceiling? Yes! Oh my gosh! They're so cool hanging from the ceiling! I need more. I need more. This place is ready for some mob farms, but there's just one problem. The crafting recipe is kind of insane. I would need multiple blaze rods, and I would probably be on about seven hearts by the time I get all those. So instead, I'm going to go over to Spawn to Fwip's shop where he is selling them. Oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. These are expensive. 25 diamonds for one iron mob farm. Well, I guess I can only buy one for now. Let's go back. So now all we need to do is set up a chest, put the mob farm on top, and now we can put a creature into it. I'm going to use this spider. <gasps> Ew. And when it's done extracting, it should <coughs> put <gasps> spider loot in the chest. Now, all we need to do is set up all the different mobs, and then I will have an unlimited supply of mob loot. That so is so I think smart. we should actually start with Possibly the most dangerous one, capturing a blaze, because then I can make my own mob farms. I don't Ooh. have to spend all my diamonds anymore. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but do not worry, because I have been busy powering myself up. As you can see, I have many enchanting levels now, Ooh. because Scott helped me get this crazy sword that gives you loads of XP. Flashback. <laughs> This one has looting five and knowledge of the ages eight. Oh, it's got stuff. I can't take it anymore. Oh. It's too much. <laughs> so I could go and get crazy XP whenever I want and I've been using it to enchant my armor so that I hopefully don't die as soon as I, I get to the okay. So let's find another portal and try and lasso a blaze. I'm already scared and I don't I'm already scared. I just realized that you can actually make your own portals but I'm gonna do that far away from here just in case something crawls out of it in the middle of the night. Here goes nothing. Oh no. <laughs> what on earth? is that doing here? This is not what I expected to find in the nether. Hopefully somewhere close by is a blaze and I can just grab it and run. <gasps> what is that? What? It's skinny, <laughs> floating black dog. Oh my gosh. Look at it walking around. That's so horrifying. That is so, so creepy. I might actually lose a life here. Oh no. It's hot here. Oh, I don't feel safe. Huh? What's that? What is that? 
Excuse me? What was that? I don't want to be here. I don't see a blaze anywhere. <gasps> that thing ran at me. I want to go home. What was that? Why does it look like... It touched me. They're skeleton dogs. I like to go home. Now go home. Well, uh, run. Okay, you know what? I that run. Was not very scary at all. I was so not scared. That was horrific. I was try and generate some blaze rods instead. Whoa, are you okay, my dude? Did I get a glitchy one? Oh my gosh, that's what I needed. Now, time to make my own mob farms. Yes. Finally, and I can add this to my collection, and I can start collecting more mobs. So I think the next one that would be really useful is to have a creeper. So Ooh. I happen to know where there are creepers aplenty. Rather unfortunately, I stumbled across this place when I was looking for iron, and I thought I would never want to come back here after this happened. Flashback. Oh no. A spawner. And another one. Oh my neck. Whoa! What is that? There's another one here. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's got me. Oh, my oh, goodness. Geez. Well, that was terrifying. But look at this. There's a creeper spawner. And look, it's active. <gasps> yes. Oh. Now go home. Oh, it just keeps spawning them. Oh, dang it. I actually kind of wanted that spawner. Now let's get oh, this little beast it. into the mob farm. And it will start producing gunpowder for me. The next day. As you can see, I have managed to collect various mobs yes. and them in these farms with minimal injury to myself. And now all I have to do is wait and reap the rewards. So now let's move on to the next room, which I'm going to put further down the corridor. Ooh. And in this room, I'm going to build an automatic sheep farm because I noticed that Scott has Ooh. one and it's amazing. Look at this. Sheep of every color and they get automatically sheared every time they regrow their wool back. So let's go back and get so working cool. on a sheep shearing farm of my own. So first, let's decorate this room a little bit. We'll go for a green theme in Ooh. here. So let's cover the walls with this. And then I'm going to cover the green walls with flowering vines. And since the sheep are going to be all different colours, I've got lots of different colours of vines. Ooh. This might look a little bit crazy, though. I think I picked a horrible colour green. That one would have been nicer. Now I have to replace every single one of these blocks. And if you think doing it with shears will make it any faster, you are wrong. Oh, no. These blocks were made specifically to torture me. Ta-da! Hopefully this will make the sheep okay, think of their grassy so homelands and make them produce wool faster. Now all we have to do is build the machine over here. So I will follow a tutorial. So I've gathered up all the materials that I should need. And now I just have to recreate this build perfectly. <laughs> the nether. I will probably be fine. See? Everything's fine. <gasps> oh, 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 everything is not fine. How do I escape? Oh, I'm trapped in between two of them. Oh my gosh, this is not what I had planned. 
Oh no! I need somebody to come and help me. Twelve seconds later. Right. I'll show you what's happened. <laughs> 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 guys there you have it me reacting to some more x life you guys oh my goodness she is three hearts now that let oh i don't even know what to say about it yo i thought you were so sad if you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think honey let's talk about it friends because this was so sad okay Period. Before you go, if you don't got a backup singer, go ahead and become one. Smash that subscribe button. So let's hit that bell be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Deuces.